Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day two of Earth Week. It's cold out. Let's get started. Walking on the sycamores on darkened streets Past the Griffin ruins in their majesty I really just wanted to talk to you guys about two things. One, the sidewalks. And two, goodbyes. So, first of all with sidewalks, it's kind of like a road, in case you didn't know. And here in America, where I live, we drive on the right side of the road. So you walk on the right side of the sidewalk. Make sense? All with me? Cool. Now if I was in England, oh that was scary, I was gonna hit my bike. If I was in England, then I would walk on the left side of the sidewalk because you drive on the left side of the road. And I would assume that that's okay. But when you take up the entire sidewalk, I mean the whole thing, where the fuck do you expect me to walk? In the dirt? Do I look like the type of person that walks in the dirt? Okay, so the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about were goodbyes. I had to walk through two buildings and cross the street, so I had to pause. Anyway, goodbyes are awkward for me because I'm not that emotional. And it's really awkward when I think well, for me anyway, when students hug their teachers goodbye, like at the end of the semester, I don't understand that. People are looking at me weird. Anyway, um, but yeah, so, where was I? So yeah, it's really awkward to me because I don't understand, like, I didn't really have that big of an impact on your life, so why are you hugging them? I don't know. I think it's weird and it's awkward. I'm gonna run inside and then go to lunch with Jordan. Okay, so to prove I'm not a liar, we're here at lunch. There's Jordan. Laney's here too. So I got turkey burger with chipotle sauce, french fries, pickle, melon, and water. I'm not gonna say it, but you yeah. Good news and bad news. Good news is found an umbrella. Bad news is, is not only is it raining harder, but I found out that this campus is full of downward slopes, which create massive ass puddles. This is bad news, because I am short. My sweatpants are long. And therefore, the bottoms of them are soaked. Also, the ground is so muddy, and because I'm headed to soccer class in our gym, I'm supposed to bring an extra pair of shoes. I didn't. Oh well. So yesterday I told you guys that today is Kelsey Briggs Day, and I just want to tell you a little bit more about what that means. So Kelsey Smith Briggs was born in, in December of 2002 and died at the age of two in October of 2005. She died because of child abuse. CPS started their case in January of 2005, and during that entire time, up until her death, she had suffered from a bro broken collarbone, both broken legs, and multiple bruises and abrasions to her stomach, lower back, butt, and thighs. This is all because of one person. Kelsey was taken out of the home of where the abuse was happening. But during that time, as she healed, the judge ruled that they didn't know who the abuser was and Kelsey was placed back in the care of her mother. However, that was the home that the abuse was happening. Kelsey's stepfather, Michael Porter, was, at, was initially charged with sexual assault and first degree murder, which he eventually pled guilty to, and is currently serving his 30 years in prison. 
Kelsey's mother, Ray, Ray Smith, was sentenced 27 years in prison for enabling child abuse. Today is just a day for us to take a moment and acknowledge all the children that were lost to child abuse and for us to remember that child abuse is still a very serious thing. I'm eating pork nachos, which I probably won't eat a lot of because I don't really like nachos, but it looks good. Then I also got pasta with lemon juice, chicken, and shrimp. Jordan did not get a salad. Jordan got mango. And Jordan is trying to eat with chopsticks and is actually doing pretty well. here. I know I haven't done much today, but I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about Kelsey Briggs Day and that maybe next year you can celebrate it as well. It's not really a celebration, it's more of a recognition. But still, tomorrow should be fun and I hope you join me. Bye!